Make sure you are refreshed before we set out again, friend. The road to justice is paved with kicked buttocks. Oh? Well, the mind of Minsk is a simple place. Of what strangeness do you speak? The memories resurface. A lifetime of battles blurring into one. A single constant is Minsk, launching into the fray no matter the foe. Be they god, monster, or man. It seems just the barest glimpse of what the man before you has seen and done. But enough to know that he has no right to still be alive. Ah, wait! That look in your eye. I know exactly what visions of Minsk you have seen to cause you such wonder. My pants. Thrice laced in the Rashomar style, so that a berserker might split skulls without fear of splitting bridges, too. They are fiendishly complex, but fear not for Minsk. With training, he has learned to master the many little knots. The Bard says Boo. They conspire not to safeguard our trousers, but to rid the world of pants entire. On this matter of sharing memories, I see no reason for us to worry at one another's worms. If there is more we wish to know, we can simply ask, no? Is it power? True, it has made Minsk strong. Boo can scarcely get comfortable, so firm has my physique grown. But what does the parasite take in return? It is a horror wrapped in honey. Stay your sweet tooth, says Boo. As you wish, but quietly, it is listening. On this matter, I have held small counsel with Boo. If the worm is lodged within our skulls, should it not be possible to simply squeeze like so? Until something pops out. Ah. Pay that noise no mind. Boo has not feasted on evil's flesh in some time, and it has set his gut to bubbling. None at all. Though Boo is tiny, perhaps he could just crawl into our ears and... Ah, you are right, Boo. A ridiculous notion. It would be far too dark to see. Of course, my friend. Or are we not friends? Who never looks to give me fleas? Sometimes you just pick these things up along the path. Now, does Boo see a question in your eye, or just a parasite poking through? Well, Boo, explain yourself. Clear enough? There is nothing jestful in the bond between a ranger and his companion. Before Boo, I was a typical berserker of Rashiman. Duty bound and full of my own seriousness. The problem with one so gazing of their navel, however, they are easily ambushed. Brigand split my skull like a sodden wineskin. It was as I recovered that Boo first appeared. He told me that I had felt the great poking finger of justice, marking Minsk as its champion and Boo as my guide. As for the headache, well, <laughs> justice cannot always afford to be gentle. Do not be ridiculous. If any of us is chosen by the gods, it is obviously Boo. Now, shall we away? 
My boots crave the crunch of unvirtuous nethers. There is more than a little to know, I think. I am huge. Ah, you come in search of stories. It is not yet time to tuck Boo in for the night, but very well. After our adventurings with the Ballspawn, Boo had had his fill of godly flesh. So, we returned to Baldur's Gate for a time. After all, in every city there is a sweaty underbelly, crying out for a virtuous scrubbing. None better to wield a brush than Minsk and Boo. <laughs> Perhaps we rubbed some villain's rump a little too raw. This Minsk does not know. One moment we stood in the city slums, the next ambush. Then Minsk and Boo woke on the wide with stone dust in sensitive places. Aha! Perhaps this is the reason, Boo. It is not because of the legendary thickness of my skull. The mind of Minsk was occupied with important matters. I was browsing a slum vendor stall, looking for Boo's favorite nuts. And then, I was stolen. For Minsk, those years passed as quick as a hiccup. It was long ago, then hic it is now. I do not like these metal men on the streets, or the villains who hide behind them. But the new world is not so different to the old one. The city still clings to the hill. The sea still stretches on forever. And the stench of evil still makes Boo wish for a tiny peg on his nose. As long as that stench remains, no matter how old or young the world is, Minsk and Boo will not rest. Countless tales are told of Boo and Minsk. Many of them are so outlandish that even I do not know if they are true. Did Minsk bravely fend off the seductive vials of a succubus in the cloisters of Candlekeep? Maybe. Did he take a bath in the river Styx and temporarily forget himself? I do not remember. Did he travel with a spawn of the god of murder, who warred against his evil brethren and battled triumphantly at the throne of Baal itself? Of course! It was a splendid adventure! Oh, a curious question. Are a child and his father always alike? Take Minsk. He does not have a clear memory of the face of his father, but he does remember tugging on the thick, red whiskers that sprang from his chin. A beard for the ages. Who could have nested there happily through even the harshest of Rashomon winters? Now, look closely at Minsk, and what do you see? Correct! There are more whiskers on Boo's tiny face than on the mighty chin of Minsk. If Minsk did not inherit the flaming red hair of his mother, or the bushy red beard of his father, why would this spawn of Baal inherit his wicked? I have many more thoughts about beards to share. I did not know you cared to hear them. Minsk is honored indeed, but uh, you have not the space, hmm? Who is at your back? Well, Minsk is 